Hi beauties. All right, today, what are we gonna do? Bunch of Ipsy content. Today, as we are filming this, hopefully it will also be posted later today. It is the 3rd of October, which means customization for Ipsy Plus opened up yesterday. I did get up at the, well, I can't really say I got up because I got home from work and I just didn't go to sleep, but I did make sure that at the butt crack of dawn, I was ready and we were in to go to pick out my customization options. I have some thoughts. I still think it's a decent box, but I just, uh, We'll talk about it. But I figured while I was talking about the Ipsy customization for October, 2020, I would also do a review of this bad boy. This is the Ipsy, I think it was the fall and summer favorites bundle. They did it as like one of their deals the day, probably about a week ago and it was $22. It came with five products. I saw it and I said, I want that. Normally I don't do the add-ons. Normally I don't do, you know, the extra stuff throughout the month. I just kind of do my sub boxes and I say, you know, I'll be good the rest of it. But I really liked what this had to offer. So what we got in this bad boy is we got the Ditto Saturn Shade Palette and it looked pretty online and then I opened it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It is just gorgeous. A ton of really beautiful kind of metallic-y fall shades. Love this, uh, this one is called Enceladus, I think. I, they're the names of the moons of Saturn, I believe, if I'm correct. So we're gonna go with Enceladus, but that's beautiful. We've got uh, Cronus, which is gorgeous as well. Just a ton, Titans, a really beautiful matte shade. Just a ton to work with in this little nine shadow, nine eyeshadow pan palette. It came with this really wonderful liquid eyeshadow, which you guys know I'm pretty obsessed with liquid eyeshadow. So um, this metallic eye sparkle is what they call it from a galactic. Galactic, and I think this is gonna look really gorgeous on top of some of the shades in here. Really nice, pretty wand. It came with a Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. It came with a Real Her Blending Brush, and you guys know I always need brushes. And then it came with a Ciate London Triple Shot Mascara, which I believe I've gotten in the past. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a really good deal for, for um, $22. I figured while I was talking about everything, we're gonna go ahead and use all the products in this box and we'll do a review of that while I also talk about customization. So just a whole bunch of Ipsy content coming at you guys. Just a ton of it. What you guys are looking for. If you're not, then sorry, it's what you're getting. So here we are. If you're new though, you should consider subscribing and you'll hear about how I don't ever wash my brushes. And then when I do, it's like a big deal. It's a big deal here on the channel. So, so yes, let's jump into it. I am gonna go ahead and pull out my, uh, this is the, uh, I think it's the I Embrace Change is what they call this little brush right here. It's what it looks like it says. I doubt you can see that on camera, but it, I'm looking at it, so. And it's a nice little like tapered blending brush. I always need blending brushes, so, cause those always seem to be the ones that get dirty really quickly, so. But let's jump into the eye look. What I'm thinking today, really simple. I definitely wanna make sure we use the metallic eyeshadow, uh, liquid eyeshadow shade. So what I'm thinking is on my lid, I think I'm actually going to go in with Mimas. Mimas, Mimas, I don't know. I'm gonna butcher all these names, just bear with me. It's kind of this nice little like brown metallic-y shade. I think that's gonna be a nice base. I'm not gonna do a cut crease or a half cut crease like I normally do. With concealer, like I normally do, I'll just put this directly over that shade. We're gonna do, blend it out with Titan. We're going to then do all the way up to the brow bone with Tethys, I think, I don't, this one. And then from there, if we need a little bit of darkening, I may actually go in with Cronus because I think that might work kind of well with that, this metallic-y shade. And yeah, that may be all we wind up using in this palette. I may be able to use one of the two of these shades as like a highlighting shade, but we'll see. And then we'll we'll do mascara and we'll do all the other good stuff. We'll do it all on camera so you can see the products and let's do it. Customization for this month. I will say the products that they chose for me, I really was very happy with. I got the Lovecraft Beauty Basic Rituals eyeshadow palette. They're not really colors that I would normally choose for myself, but because of that, I kind of love it. And because it's October, it's Spooktober, it's Halloween, which is, you guys know, my favorite time of year. So because of that, I think this is actually a really nice palette to get for that. It just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, this definitely gives me some October vibes. So I really was happy with it. It comes with a really gorgeous blue. There's a black in there. Yeah, it's got like a kind of a pretty shimmery gray, a black, a nice white shade. A lot that I think you can do with just this little six pan eyeshadow palette. And it really reminds me of the Lime Crime that I don't remember what they're called, like the 
mini Venus or whatever, or maybe they're just the regular Venus and then the big ones are the Venus X XLs. It kind of reminds me just from the packaging of it. I mean, of course I'm not holding it in my hand, so I can't tell you if that's like an accurate comparison or not. But just when I saw it online, that was my first, like, I was like, oh yeah, it definitely reminds me of like that whole vibe. So I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said, it's not something I'm necessarily sure I would have chosen if I had had like the choice to choose it with another palette. But because of that, it's not something that I really have in my collection now or anything comparable to it. So I'm pretty excited about receiving it and playing around with it. The next thing they chose for me was the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape Setting Powder. I'm a big fan of setting powders. I always love getting them because it's something that I go through really quickly. It's like concealer, it's like foundation. It's just something that I always like to have and I always like to have backups of them. So that's never a bad thing in my opinion. Um, and I love Tarte and I love the Shape Tape collection. So yeah, I was pretty excited about getting a uh, full size of that as well. So those were the two things that they chose for me. And, and honestly, I was very, I was very happy with that. I was like, you know, one of the best choices I think since they've made the changes that they've, uh, they've done for me the, with the plus. Well, while I was waiting for it to open up, I was perusing on, I didn't realize if you go all the way down under the bag, it actually gives you what like the entire list of October products are available. And I was like, oh, I didn't know they were doing that. So I did that on my phone while I was waiting for it to open. I was like looking around and they had a bunch of palettes. Um, some things that we've seen in months past, which I've kind of talked about. And like, I know the, the Seraphine Botanicals palette that I got last month was still available. Um, the LaRousse brush sets are still available for some people. Like I said, they had quite a few palettes and I was pretty excited about it. There was a couple that I was really like into and I was like, oh, I hope I get that as a choice. Okay, so really quickly, eyeshadow, really liked the first shade, applied very beautifully. It's very soft, but very metallic, very easy to work with. It seemed to stick in the right places. I did have a touch of fallout on my nose, but it seemed to um, brush off pretty easily even though I didn't put extra setting powder, which I should have done. Doing pretty well so far. I am gonna now move over into blending with Titan. I'm gonna use the Real Her brush for that because I think this is gonna be a nice little brush to be able to do that with. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, a couple eyeshadow palettes that I really liked. The one that I was really attracted to is um, the Violet, was the Violet Voss Creme Brulee palette. It's actually a palette I've looked at buying in the past and I just haven't picked up. I love Violet Voss. Most of the palettes and stuff I have from the brand is actually, it has come from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I'm a really big fan, but I just don't have a ton of, of um, products from the company. So I saw it and I was like, oh, I really want that. But I also was able to check, of course, the retail values of everything and it's only an $18 palette. So I was like, oh, that's a pretty cheap palette. It depends on what else is being offered in the, the thing, in my, my group of products. Let's see, maybe I can do it as an add-on. So that was my thought process. So going into it, finally opens up. We, um, we get Nikki's computer set up and start recording and I start looking at everything. So my first round choice had three items that I really was very into. Um, I had the option to choose between the house laboratories or Haas, I don't know. I always, I'm, I wish I knew how to pronounce it correctly. I don't know. Lady Gaga's made makeup company. I love Lady Gaga, huge fan. I have a, a few products, but not a ton actually, considering how much makeup I have. I just don't have a ton from the company yet. They had the Le Riot, a couple of those uh, lip glosses in the choice selection. We got the kind of brown, like dark red brown tinted shade. Really pretty, something that I feel like I would use during the fall. My issue is I just don't like lip glosses. If it had been a matte lipstick, I might have been like more into it, but I'm just not really into lip glosses. Um, and then I also had the Creme Brulee palette from Violet Voss that I really liked. And then I also had the Laura Makeup Labs Moods eyeshadow and highlighter palette. And that the Moods eyeshadow palette actually has a much higher retail value. It was like a $35 or $39 eyeshadow palette. And so my thought process was, well, let's choose the more expensive palette here. And then if we have the option to add on the Violet Voss one, I'll do that. So that was my choice. That was what I decided to do. I went with the Moods palette. Spoiler alert, it bit me in the ass because the Violet Voss palette was not one of the options to add on. I totally understand. They have to make sure everybody has the ability to choose products that are worthwhile. So it made sense that it wasn't one of the options. I just was a little disappointed. I was like, man, if I had known, I would have chosen. I would have chosen that one, even though it was cheaper because I really like the colors in that one, but it's fine. I'm excited about the, the Laura makeup one. We've gotten some little eyeshadows in the my standard. I know I've gotten a couple in my standard bag in the past. Uh, one really pretty, like kind of espresso colored one that I liked a lot. So I have high hopes. I've liked the, 
I like the formula a lot. So I think it'll be a good choice. Um, but still, I was just, I had this like touch, this tinge of like, damn, I did the wrong thing. Second choice and third choices, they just didn't have the same, like, I, w I wasn't in love with everything that I had offered to me. Um, I did opt to go with the Laboratories Filigra, Filor, Filorga, I don't know, I'm not, I don't pronounce words properly and I, I don't know, I'm sorry. I try, but it's it's never successful. So they had, um, that is an Oxygen jo Glow Eye Gel and it's meant to just like brighten and, and give your eyes a little bit more life. And I have been using eye creams like crazy lately because I'm doing a lot more skincare. So I was like, good choice. Um, I honestly don't remember what else was in that, that section. I'm, if it's recorded, then we'll have a video of it. I just, I can't remember off that. It was nothing that stuck out to me. That was pretty much the only thing that I saw that I was like, yeah, I want that. So I went with that. And then the last one, um, I had a, a couple things. Once again, nothing really stuck out at me. I know there was a, a mascara in there. Um, and I think some like a lip matte lipstick and a lip gloss duo that was pretty But I just don't like I have so many lip colors and I just don't know why but I just don't gravitate towards lip colors I'm kind of like if I have like one or two good ones. I'm normally set I like eyeshadows and eye makeup much more So I opted to go with the thrive cosmetics brilliant eye brightener and Emma in the shade Emma And that is like a an eyeshadow crayon. So it's like that is kind of you know, like a, a liquid eyeshadow So let's go with that time out really liking what's happening here very neutral, very pretty. Um, I did actually take a little bit of Hexagonal Storm, which is, I'll show you, i show. It's this shade right here. And I mixed it in with Titan because I felt like I just wanted to make it a little bit more brown, if that makes sense, because it's kind of really purpley. And the shade that we had on the lid was very brown. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go in with the same brush that I used to put on Mimas, and I'm gonna go in with Cronus. And I'm gonna do a little bit on my under eye. And then after that, we're gonna pull out our handy dandy liquid eye shadow. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. I did actually a little bit of Cronus and Mimas, just a little mix of both under there. Like it, like it a lot. Let's go in with the liquid eyeshadow. I went on to my add-ons page. Of course, I was really sad that I didn't have the option to add on the Violet Voss palette. I'm kind of hoping, my mom brought up a great point because um, we were talking about it. Oh, 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 that's freaking gorgeous. I absolutely, oh my God, I absolutely love this. I have quite a few liquid eyeshadows and by quite a few, I mean, compared to like palettes and stuff, I don't have that many, but I feel like I have a big shade range in liquid eyeshadows, probably have like 10 to 15 of them. And I really don't have anything like this. This is kind of like deep, dark, almost black gold metallic. I just, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it's showing up well on camera because I am obsessed with it right here. I'm actually not going to do a darkening shade. I don't think I think I'm just gonna do this all over my lid. I made you just like a touch of like a darkening shade right back here, way far back to what I normally do but I really want this to be like the focal point of the look because I'm, I'm very into, oh, I love it. I'm into it, I love it. Um, it's It was very reminiscent of uh, Glow Addict sent us a really magenta pink one, I think in August maybe. And I loved that one. That's one of the like the thickest, easiest to apply and like most pigmented liquid eyeshadows I've tried in a while. This is a pretty close second if I'm being honest. So. Big fan of this, really like it. I like the shade, I like every, it's very fall, I like it. Okay, off camera, finished up what I needed to do with the liquid eyeshadow, I love it. That's, I've said it a lot, I love it. I mean, I am gonna take just a touch of Cronus and go just on like the back side and just, just do a, just a light feathering of it. Go on to the add-ons, I was looking around, they had a, a good amount of add-ons, like the skincare stuff, they had a couple things from Sunday Riley, they had a couple things from Kate Somerville. I really was trying to be good. I didn't want to spend another $50 because I easily could, $50, $100, I could easily do that. I'm like, well, I give Ipsy so much money already. Let me let me try and not do that. I did opt to add on, I think it was another Laura makeup, the blending brush that was in the $3 section and it looked like a freaking wand. It was like purple and black and just absolutely gorgeous. Loved it. I was like, I want that. I had chosen a brush for my standard bag, so I figured that wasn't gonna be one of the things that I received in my standard bag. I chose um, Miss Glam, I think that's the name of the brand. It's this brand, this brand. They always have the two little rhinestones on it. I chose one in green 
very similar to this because I use this as my highlighting brush and I was like, oh, I'll probably use that as like a backup highlighting brush. So I chose that um, because I really liked it. I've started to develop more, a, more of a, an appreciation for brushes because I'm, I hate washing mine so much that I'm like, the more I have, the more time I can go in between washing them because I can just, you know, pull out other brushes that I haven't used and live my life. So yeah, that was the decision. That was what made my decision for that. So I decided to add on the brush and then later actually, they emailed me and they said, hey, do you wanna see your spoilers for your, uh, your regular glam bag? And I was like, no, I don't ever check those but it did have an option to just go straight to the add-ons and add stuff on. So I did, I did, I did do that. I just went in and I added on another one of those brushes and then I added on um, the Juice Beauty. It was a serum for blemishes. And I was like, uh, I, I haven't been breaking out horribly cause I have been doing so much skincare and I've been wearing just a little bit of makeup. Like really I only put on makeup to film. So it's just not been as bad as it could be. But that being said, I still get these little breakouts here and there. So I was like, well, maybe if I have a serum that's directly going in and targeting my, my problem areas, my blemishes and stuff like that, maybe that will help keep me from, from breaking out at all. So I did opt to add that. That was only a $12 add-on too, which for a Juice Beauty serum, I felt like that was super cheap. So I was like, well, Maybe it's time, it might be like the smallest serum in the world, but whatever, it's 12 bucks and Juice Beauty is not cheap. So I was like, okay, let's let's do it. So I did add those on as well. So overall on add-ons, I spent about $20. Um, I'm assuming I'll get one brush with my plus and I'll get the other two items with my standard bag, but I, I could be wrong. So that was how I felt about it. I was honestly kind of disappointed with my choices for the second and the third, just because I had gone through and looked at um, all of the things that they had to offer and I just felt like there wasn't a whole lot that I was like into. I stood with my mom while she did her customization as well. She didn't really like anything that she had to choose from. But that being said, she still got good products. I honestly don't, I know she got a palette, I think, the, the Douce, Douce palette. I, I don't remember what else she got. I think she got that lip, the, the lipstick duo that I told you I, I had the choice between I didn't choose. I think she wound up choosing that. And I think she might have gotten the eye cream I got too. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, I wish I did. I stood there, but like we've talked about this in the past. I have the memory of a goldfish. So here we are. The choices that they chose for me were honestly some of the best. The choices they chose for me and then what the first product choice I had were my three favorite products in the box. Now, that being said, the, those three products alone are, are well worth my $25. There's no doubt about it. So it's, it's still a good box. I'm still happy with it. I just, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or whatever. I'm not trying to make complaints where there doesn't need to be complaints because I am still really happy with it. I think these changes have been very effective, at least for me as a consumer. Um, I've been much more satisfied with the products I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting a lot more stuff that I would go and pick out myself. Um, because I am picking it out myself. I mean, within limitations, but I am picking it out myself. So yeah, I've, I've been happy. I've been sad. I, c I can't say I'm disappointed with it because I'm really not. Um, I think for $25, you're getting a hell of a deal. Yeah, that's how I feel about this month. Let's go back really quickly. I just, I did add a little bit of Tethys. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know, but that's the kind of white shade. I added just a little bit of that and I added a little bit of Dion, which is the pink shimmery shade, the light pink shimmery shade as like a highlight. We're gonna do mascara now and then we'll set it with the setting spray just so we do use absolutely everything in this box. And yeah, this box though was great. I'm so glad I picked it up. Cause like I said, I really, I was trying to be good and I was like, I shouldn't do it. We gotta, we gotta buy the house. We're gonna do all this stuff. Money is, money is important right now. And I just was like, it's a good deal. I gotta get it. So I did get it. And uh, here we are doing this. I was thinking that I had this Ciate London mascara, but I'm not sure I do. It's the triple shot. And I really like the mascara one. Maybe I do have, and I just haven't used it yet. I've gotten so many mascaras in different subscription boxes and free gifts and things like that, that a lot of times what winds up happening, I have like a backup stash of them. And I, I just kind of forget about them until you know, one of them runs out and then I pull out another one from the backup stash. So it's possible I have had, I have received this one and I just haven't used it yet. Or if I have, I've only used it once or twice, but it's very, it's very much like a telescopic mascara where it's, 
The bristles are thick and close together, but they're not really fluffy because they're so short. So it's doing a really good job of like lifting. This is the kind of mascara I prefer personally. This and honestly, um, the shape of it, I, I don't even know how to explain it. The one that's kind of like, it looks like an hourglass, but it would be like the Better Than Sex from Too Faced mascara or the Trustique um, mascara that has the uh, eyelash curler that I know Ipsy, both Ipsy and BoxyCharm have given me one in the past. That's actually one of my favorite mascaras. So I, I typically go for ones that have like these kind of bristles where they're nice and short and hard or um, the ones that look like the hourglass. So I'm a big fan of this. All right, mascara is done. Final step, just to say that we use the whole box. We'll do Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is what I would call like a sample size, like a, a decent sample size, a travel size maybe. But everything else was pretty much full size, I would say. No, yeah, full size. So yeah, pretty good deal. All right, here we go. We're all set. Okay, so that is our Ipsy chat for the day. Um, bundle set, love it. Really happy with it. Love everything that I got in it. It was a great deal. I'm glad I picked it up. Ipsy Plus, I'm excited to see what everything looks like when we get it. The palettes I definitely want to play around with. Um, I want to, the eye cream, I'm normally, some people have really bad reactions. My mom had a really bad reaction to a retinol eye cream once. So I normally do pretty well with them. I like them a lot and I have, I definitely have like, you know, dark circles and, and bags a lot of the time. So especially right now when my allergies are so awful. So I'm excited to test that out. Overall, at the end of the day, this is the second box in a row I've gotten two palettes in and palettes are my thing. That's what I enjoy receiving. It's what I buy when I'm not getting like random sub boxes where it's a mystery. So, I, I cannot complain. I feel like they're really doing a good job of kind of do, of giving you choices that are something that are gonna be up your alley. And you know, if I don't really have anything that I love, love in my set for the the last two items, how is how can I complain? Because it's still it's still such a good deal, at twenty five dollars. So so yeah, I'm I'm still happy with how Ipsy Plus is going. I will say just as a caveat, just to throw that out there, Boxy Charm we did. Um, get charged for our year-long subscription auto renew for this month. So we will have that for another year. And I've been really satisfied with Boxy as well. I think I'd actually probably say I've been more satisfied with Boxy this year than I have Ipsy. I think I've complained more about Ipsy. So, so yeah, that's just the whole subscription thing where I'm excited to start getting our boxes for this month and, and doing the unboxings and showing you guys what we got and how they work out. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, thank you. We love you guys too. Maybe consider joining the Dark Angel family. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you see whenever we post subscription box videos and everything else we're doing. Um, I have a couple good ideas for October. We've already filmed some just fall looks, but I do wanna start getting some Halloween looks under the books. It's just, it hasn't happened yet, but it will, I promise. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.